So, you have a new Star Wars show for me? Yes, sir, I do. So we're gonna follow Mando, right? Mando, huh? That's what I call my love handles. Well, please stop doing that, sir, because Mando's short for Mandalorian, and he's this badass Mandalorian bounty hunter. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and this client sends him after this target that he wants alive or dead, but this target turns out to be a very valuable merchandising opportunity. Oh? Yeah, it turns out it's a baby Yoda. Wait, a baby Yoda? Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? What happened? Your eyes, they had like, it was like dollar signs in them. What do you mean? There were dollar signs in your eyes. Like where my pupils are? Like in front of them. I think it was in front of them. It was dollar signs. That's not possible. That's what it was. I mean, you heard that cha-ching noise, right? That wasn't just me. I did. Did it hurt? I, d I mean, it was uncomfortable for sure. Am I dying? I don't know. Uh, I C can you hold on for a second, please? I guess, yeah, okay. What do you mean by dollar signs? In my eyes, it made like a cash register noise. That's not possible, medically. It happened. You know, Mr. Producer Guy, it's not uncommon for people to create imaginary scenarios to deal with overwhelming information. It, wa it wasn't imaginary. I have a witness. And this witness, you trust them and their ability to see? I mean, he has glasses, but... Huh. It happened. Uh-huh. I was, uh, working outside and a, uh, I remember a pretty woman walking past. Mm -hmm. And I'm told that my eyes just kind of shot out of my head and my jaw dropped in a way that should have dislocated it. Wow. And I made this awooga sound as if I was some kind of horn and for the longest time I felt insane and I've been working on myself and I'm starting to accept that Maybe that's something my body does when I see a pretty woman, you know, and maybe that's okay. You know, that's so true, and I, I want to thank you for sharing that with the group. Um, uh, Mr. Producer Guy, would you would you like to share your story with, with us? Um, yeah, hi, my name is Producer Guy, and uh, I heard about, I guess, a merchandising opportunity that would make me just a ridiculous sum of money and... My, my eyes just kind of behaved like a cash register, and I don't know what to do with that. You know, I feel like I'm going crazy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, you know, if I may, it sounds like maybe you just really like money. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I do. And, you know, maybe sometimes that manifests itself physically, and maybe that's okay. Huh. Yeah. You know what? That is okay, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I have to go. Go on, get out of here. All right, I'm back. Oh, good. Yeah, I went on a little journey of self-discovery. Turns out I'm okay with the fact that I love money. Great character growth, sir. Although I'm pretty sure we already knew that about you. Yeah. <clears throat> I've been standing here for three days waiting for you to come back. Amazing. Used to your garbage can as a bathroom. Oh, uh, using my garbage bin as a bathroom is tight. So what else happens in the show? Right, okay, so Mando is with this droid who wants to kill Baby Yoda because he's like, listen, the bounty orders were quite clear. I thought it was to bring him back dead or alive. God, I don't know anymore. You've been gone for days. Okay, sorry. Jeez. So anyway, Mando kills the droid and saves Baby Yoda. And so throughout the show, he's going to become kind of a father figure. Very adorable. So Mando goes to a planet, right? Because he's got to get a thing. But he's got to make a deal with some individuals in order to get it and help them face some threat they're facing. Okay. So then he's going to do that and get slightly betrayed or attacked. But it's going to work out in the end and he's going to get the thing he needs. And Baby Yoda's going to do cute stuff the whole time. I like the sound of that. Right? So times eight. Times eight? Yeah, times eight. Or, well, for two seasons, it'd be times 16. What are you talking about? Well, the formula, sir. That's the show. Pretty much every episode. Just so many side quests. Oh. So what do you think? Well, I mean, I mean, that sounds good. Could I get more details, though? I guess, if you really need them. What kind of enemies are they going to go up against? Oh, a whole bunch of enemies. Mando's going to get shot at a lot. Uh-oh. But pretty much by stormtroopers who don't know how to aim. And when he does get hit, well, his armor makes him pretty much invincible. Oh, not a whole lot of serious threats then. Guess not, but at the end of the first season, we're gonna meet this big bad guy, Moff Gideon, and he really wants Baby Yoda because he has Jedi powers. Oh yeah, how are we gonna meet him? Well, see, Mando's in a building talking to that client that had hired him to kill Baby Yoda and a bunch of stormtroopers. Okay. And then out of nowhere, Moff Gideon's gonna have his men open fire and kill his own men and trap Mando inside this building. Why? Well, because he's given them till sundown to surrender 
surrender. If Moff Gideon already had men inside with Mando, why did he kill those men and then give the good guys time to plan an escape? Because the good guys need time to figure out an escape plan or the show is over. That makes sense. Anyway, so then there's gonna be a big fight and Mando's gonna get so hurt, he's gonna have to take his helmet off. Oh, is, is that a problem? Yeah, because see, he's not allowed to take his helmet off in front of another living thing. That's part of his creed. Oh, uh, with arms wide open. What? That's my creed. Obviously not relevant to what I was talking about. So he's gonna take his helmet off in front of this reprogrammed droid that he had killed, but he doesn't like droids. Okay. So that's gonna be a big learning point for him, you know? It's okay to fully put your faith in artificial intelligence. Our Disney Plus algorithm has been suggesting we start pushing that kind of message. Right. Kind of aggressively now that I think about it. Nothing to worry about there, sir. So Mando's eventually gonna learn that he needs to bring Baby Yoda to a Jedi so it can be trained. Okay. So in the second season, he's gonna try to find one and do every single side quest he can along the way. Like what? Oh, well, for example, he's gonna meet this marshal that's wearing Mandalorian armor, so he wants to get it back. Right. So he strikes a deal where if he helps this guy kill this big monster that's bugging the town, he'll give him the armor back. Very exciting. But then at the end of the episode, we're gonna see Boba Fett watching them. Turns out it's his armor. He's from the other thing. He sure is, sir. Amazing. Yeah, and so he's gonna follow Mando around because he wants to confront him and get his armor back. Wouldn't it have been easier for him to get it off of that Marshall guy instead of a Mandalorian warrior? Hey, shut up, and Mando's also gonna meet some characters from the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. Oh boy, what are they gonna do? Same thing as Boba Fett, sir. Show off some cool action scenes and promote their own Disney Plus shows. I like the way you think. Thanks, sir. So at another point, Mando wants to get some plans to locate Moff Gideon's cruiser, and he's gotta team up with this ex-Imperial Mayfeld. And what kind of creature is he? He's a Bostonian. Oh, I love science fiction. So they're the only two that can go to this terminal, because everybody else in their squad is on the bad guy's radar, and this machine scans your face. It scans your face? Yeah, so Mando's gotta take his helmet off, which is a pretty big deal, and it scans his face, and he gets the coordinates. Wait, was that machine just checking to see if he had a face? Yeah, you know, I guess to make sure he's not a robot or like a known enemy. So as long as you have a face and you're not a known enemy, you can access the bad guy information. That's what we're going with. So eventually there's gonna be this big showdown against Moff Gideon, and he has these crazy droids called Dark Troopers. Uh-oh. Yeah, and these things are nuts. I mean, Mando struggled to survive against one of them, and then there's a bunch of them that they're about to come face to face with. Sounds like it's gonna be hard to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, cause see, freaking Luke Skywalker is gonna show up and destroy them all. He's from all of it. He sure is, sir. Amazing. I was starting to get concerned that this Star Wars project wasn't gonna be about the Skywalkers in some way. Well, it is, sir. And then there's gonna be a very sad moment because Mando's gotta leave Baby Yoda to go be trained by Luke. Wow, well, well, that is sad. But the important thing is, I'm gonna make so much money off Baby Yoda merch. Yeah, I actually wanted to talk to you about that. I thought it might be nice if we could hold off on creating Baby Yoda merch just for a while, just to make sure there aren't any leaks and the fans can really be surprised in the pilot. What? But... But money. But a cool and surprising experience for the fans. But... But my money. But the experience... <laughs> this goes against everything in my nature, but... But okay. Hey, there's some character growth, sir. Hi everybody, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. Hope you liked it. And if you hadn't heard, pitch meetings are now on their very own channel. So if you could hit that subscribe button, that'd be very appreciated. You can also leave me a comment down below letting me know what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. And uh, I'm gonna put my thumb down now. <laughs>